Hey guys, Wastrick here to uh, do a review over my Yugoslavian M59-66 SKS variant. Now I've been talking about getting an SKS uh, or an SKS variant for a very long time and I was finally able to get my hands on one. I'd waited long enough. I Before the big assault weapons ban scare, I'd always wanted an SKS or SKS variant, but I was like, no, nah, I won't get it now. I'll get it later. They'll still be there. But then when uh, everything happened with Sandy Hook, I was just I was in a I was in a pinch as SKS as even used, heavily used SKSs were going for around uh, five hundred, six hundred dollars. And I just thought that was ridiculous. But I was able to get my hands on this baby. So I actually sold my type fifty three most Nagant carbine and my M eighteen ninety five Nagant revolver to a good friend of mine who actually also gave me this MARPAT and I was able to use those funds to purchase this uh, M59-66 from a local gun shop here in San Antonio called the Powderhorn so I'm just very happy with it so just a quick overview of the rifle it is a uh, SKS variant uh, made in Yugoslavia. Don't know an exact date. I'm assuming this was made in the late 60s as per the designation. Now, as you can notice, this differs from your uh, Chinese SKS or uh, Soviet made SKS and the uh, barrel design. Now, this actually mounts a uh, NATO compatible 22 millimeter rifle grenade launcher as a Yugoslavia was not part of the Warsaw Pact and along with the grenade launching muzzle device you have a folding ladder type sight for the grenade launcher that is activated by closing the gas system and simply raising up on the sights and these sights are set up to I think about 270 meters and I assume this is made to be fired from the shoulder versus older full-size rifles where the buttstock is set on the ground and the rifle grenade is discharged though it could be wrong. Now the thing about these sights is they like to get stuck. There we go. And then just re-engage the gas system. Now, as designed, these rifles are designed to be used uh, with a blank cartridge when using the grenade launching system, which actually increases the amount of felt recoil. Unless, of course, you're using a uh, bullet through type grenade like the French. Uh, and then a cool feature about these uh, Yugoslavian models is that they actually have a flip up tritium sights for the iron sights, for the rear sight and the front sight post. I don't know if you can see it, the two yellow dots. Uh, it's just very, very neat. Now, and the Yugoslavian M5966 comes with the uh, later Soviet style folding blade bayonet as opposed to the early Soviet made SKSs and the uh, Chinese made SKSs, which have a spike bayonet similar to those used on the most Nagant series of rifles. And to engage the bayonet, you simply Pull down and you flip it out, and you've got a nice long blade, which is uh, actually pretty sharp. So it just, it's just a nice little feature to have. Now, and then other features of this rifle, it has a uh, the standard Eastern Bloc style sights with a uh, hooded front sight post as uh, similar to the uh, most Nagant M9130s and uh, Type 53s. And then it has, has a um, sliding rear sight graduated from a battle setting of 100 meters all the way to 1,000 meters. Just simple sliding sight. Although at 1,000 meters, I don't know if you'd be able to really get a good grouping or even hit anything at all with this. And then uh, this, just like uh, all SKS variants, Soviet, Chinese, Albanian, whatever. It has a fixed 10 round magazine, which you can actually upgrade to a 30 round detachable magazine. Now this just this is just like your other standard SKSs. To load, simply open the bolt, 
the bolt will lock open on the last shot, unlike an AK. You will take your stripper clip, loaded with uh, 10 rounds of 762 by 39. Insert it into the stripper clip guide until it's all the way down. And then you will take your thumb and push the rounds off the stripper clip into the magazine. This one's being difficult for some reason. I assume mine hasn't been used because it's still actually got quite a bit of Cosmo in there. And then you just close a bolt and then you're good to go. After that you just uh, take the safety. Safety is right here. It's uh, in the up position. It's safe. And you just move it down. And then if you want to unload all of your rounds, you just take the uh, magazine floor plate release here on the bottom and just pull it to the rear and all your rounds will drop out and then to clear the rifle simply pull back on the bolt and it will lock back indicating to you that it is unsafe. Uh, this is just a really great rifle. It's uh, a bit longer than, a, than the Type 53 I used to have. It's a, with a grenade launching attachment on the muzzle. It's about 45 inches long but it's uh, right in around the same weight as a Type 53 and it's actually balanced pretty good so it's just a really s sweet little rifle and uh, from what I understand these um, variants, the M5966 were not used all that much in the M5966 was introduced in 1966 but then the uh, Yugoslavian military adopted the, uh, their AK pattern rifle the M70 in 1970, so these weren't around for a, for a long period of time. They might have been used in the reserves, but mine is in excellent, excellent condition. There's still Cosmoline on it. It still kind of runs a little bit tight. I assume it hasn't really been used, and the rifling is in absolutely pristine condition. And the parts actually have all the bluing on them, unlike my Type 53 where all the bluing was pretty much worn off. So it's just a fabulous, fabulous rifle. I've uh, wanted a semi-automatic for a long time, but I didn't dream that I'd be able to get the SKS variant so soon. I was shooting for maybe something like a, uh, an FAL or something like that. That would have cost me a lot more money, and with a less reliable system, and of course that uh, 762 by 51 has quite a bit of recoil. And this works out a lot better than my Type 53 did because this has double the magazine capacity. Uh, it's not a slow bolt action system. And the recoil is definitely not as severe as the uh, carving was, especially with that 762 by 54R full power cartridge. So it's just, I really, really love this rifle. And a neat feature about it is it actually has a cleaning kit that you can fit in the butt stock. You can see the end of it right here. So just to get that out, all you need to do is uh, remove the cleaning rod by, uh, you want to hook the bayonet a little bit until the cleaning rod slides out. And then you can pick out the cleaning kit with the cleaning rod. And inside your cleaning kit, will be a bore brush, a front sight tool slash screwdriver, the uh, cleaning kit jag so that you can use it as a handle, and then there's a little small piece that I don't know exactly what it is. So just it's very, very cool. And uh, this actually makes a great companion to my uh, Yugoslavian M57 pistol, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, another thing I'm really happy about this is uh, I figured I'm one up on uh, AK owners. The SKS is uh, supposedly a little bit more accurate. And with the Tapco magazines or those 30-round magazines, 
it puts me on par with an AK-47 or AR-15 as far as ammunition capacity is concerned. And it's just a... Uh, I come from the more conventional bolt-action rifle, so this is a lot of features that I like, like the semi-pistol grip, which is uh, very nice. And just this is a really well put together, easy to disassemble rifle. And like pretty, it's pretty much like an AK to disassemble. It's just simple, except for this one. You take this little lever right here, you flip it up and slide it out, and then the uh, receiver cover pops out, and then you can get the uh, recoil spring, bolt carrier, and bolt. Uh, it's just very simple. I'd uh, do a disassembly video right now, but. I just don't want to fumble around with like an idiot like I uh, might have done with my M1895 Nagant revolver video. So and there's plenty of uh, videos on the M5966 and SKSs on how to disassemble them. So and then uh, hopefully I can get a couple of those 30 round magazines. And then I've seen on uh, Amazon.com and eBay a receiver cover that has a weaver rail or a Picatinny rail milled into it so that I can mount my aim point sight on here. Give me a little bit of uh, elevation above the stock so I can use goggles or shooting glasses. So I'm just very, very happy with this rifle. Um, just haven't made a video in a long time and uh, just Hope you guys like it. Please make sure to comment and subscribe.